Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be solving this question, the integral of 1 upon x cube sine of log x dx. We'll be solving it by substitution and then by parts. So let's begin. Okay, so first of all we're going to be substituting log x as t, which makes dt by dx 1 by x, which makes x dt equal to dx. So let's write this in the integral. We have 1 by x cube sine t into x dt. You can cut one of the x's, make this x square. Now, since we are integrating with respect to t and x is dependent upon t, we cannot have an x term in the integral. So let's write x square in the terms of t. So we have log x which equals to t, which means that x is equal to e raised to t which means that x square will be e raised to 2t. So that's what we can write. And since we have 1 upon x square, we're going to be writing 1 upon x square as e raised to minus 2t. So we have the integral of e raised to minus 2t sine t dt. Now, using the light rule, I'm going to be placing the trigonometric term as the u term and the expo exponential term as the v term in the bypass formula, which is u into the integration of v dx minus the integration of differentiation of u into the integration of v dx. If you're not completely sure about how to use this light rule and how to use the formula, you can check out my video, which I'll be linking in the description box and at the end of the video. So now let's substitute this in the formula. So we have sine t. So first of all, let's just place this integral as i. I'm going to be finding the value of i by solving this integral. So we have i is equal to sine t into the integration of e raised to minus 2t dt minus the integral of differentiation of sine t into the integral of e raised to minus 2t dt. So now i is equal to the integral of e raised to minus 2t dt would be e raised to minus 2t upon minus 2 multiplied by sine t over here minus the integral of the differentiation of sine t is cos t into e raised to minus 2t upon minus 2 dt. Okay, so this becomes e raised to minus 2, so minus e raised to minus 2 upon 2 sine t. Let's just take this 1 upon minus 2 outside and we can write this as plus 1 by 2 integral of e raised to minus 2t cos t. Again, we will be solving this by parts, placing this as v and this as u. So this becomes e raised to, sorry, minus e raised to minus 2t upon 2 sine t plus 1 by 2 into cos t integral of e raised to minus 2t minus the integral of differentiation of cos t into integral of minus 2t, e raised to minus 2t. Okay. Okay. So this becomes minus e raised to minus 2t sine t upon 2 plus 1 by 2 minus e raised to minus 2t upon 2 cos t minus. So the, the, the differentiation of cos t is minus sine t. So this becomes minus sine t into minus e raised to minus 2t upon 2. Okay, just the same thing again. I'm not writing it again. Plus 1 by 2. So this minus and minus will become plus and I can take this 1 by 2 outside and write this as minus 1 by 2 integral of e raised to minus 2t sine t dt. Now this is what we were solving. This is what we started with, exactly what we wanted to solve. So I'm going to place this as i. So this is same. So let's just take this outside, this becomes minus e raised to minus 2t upon 4 cos t minus 1 by 4 and this inter integral term is i. Okay, so now I'm going to take this i to the left side and write this as i plus 1 by 4 i which is equal to taking minus e raised to minus 2t upon 2 common, I have sine t minus cos t by 2, sorry plus cos t by 2. Now this can be written as 5i by 4 
which is equal to, I'm going to just multiply the denominator and the numerator by 2 so that I can take the denominator 2 common as well and write this as minus e raised to minus 2t upon 4 2 sine t plus cos t. Just taking the LCM and then taking the denominator common. So now we have the final value of i. i is equal to 4 by 5 minus e raised to minus 2t, 2 sine t plus cos t. This whole thing upon 4. Of course the 4 will get cancelled. So this is what we are left with. i is equal to 1 by 5 into e raised, sorry, minus e raised to minus 2t into 2 sine t plus cos t. Now let's write these terms uh, in the terms of x. So e raised to minus 2t was 1 by x square which makes minus e raised to minus 2t as minus 1 by x square and t was log x. So our final answer and don't forget to write plus c because now we don't have any other integral term. Okay. So i that is the final value of the integral is minus 1 upon 5x square into 2 sine log x plus cos log x plus c and that's our final answer. So that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.